Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your uncle. Um, this is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews. Today, we gonna fucking rant. Man, you know what? I hate when people make it seem like your ass never went through shit. Like you haven't had a trial or a tribulation. They see stuff behind you and make it seem like you don't know struggle. What the hell is that? Who idea is that? The fuck it, you done worked your whole damn life and you ain't got shit to show for it? You know what? Look, everybody go through a season of winning and a season of losing. You know, uh, that's just how life works. You know, it's right now, you, you know, I don't know what season anybody's on. But I'm going to tell you something. I learned to work the damn system. I learned to work my situation. If I want something, I'm going to work for it. You know, it's hard to hear people complain. I see people who have better upbringings, who have better jobs, and they're just fucking complaining. I see people who have bad situations going on. I get it. But don't lash out at me. And I'm going to be honest. Shit, we all have problems. But we all don't have the same problems. You get what I'm saying? Now, I done been through some shit my entire life. But, you know, that's my shit. You know what? My shit don't define me. I define it. I live this life. I don't want nobody else's life. I don't want what anybody else has. I'm content with building this life the way I see fit. You know, this is the problem that we all miss. We see somebody else doing something that we want to do and we try to tear it down instead of building it up. Yes, everybody can relate to problems, bills, finances. Shit is what it is. You can see all kind of shit back there. Yes, you can. But guess what? That's over a period of years. And you know, my thing is what? Over years, what? I don't supposed to have shit? The show for any damn thing? That's crazy as hell. You're supposed to have something to show for your life. You know, whether it's hobbies or whatever it is that you do. I have friends who have multiple cars. That's just what they do. You know what? You find a way to win. You know, there's always somebody that's looking at you just mad and just angry and upset. You know, they look at you like, you know, how could you have it and I don't have it? That's that entitled ass attitude. See, this is why a lot of us don't like showing, you know, our collections, don't like showing what we pick up or don't like doing any of that damn stuff because there are so many people that are rooting to tear you down like you doing something that they can't do. Man, I done seen people with five and $10,000 in their damn pocket blow it all on a car. Damn car don't even last damn near a year. They done drove it into the damn ground. And you mad at everybody else forgot shit to show? Man, come on now. Make it make sense. That shit don't make no damn sense. You sitting here angry. You can't be angry at somebody over some shit that ain't got nothing to do with them. I can make video and video after me being upset about what's going on with the economy because the economy is affecting every damn body. And yes, I can complain. I know what the hell everybody going through. Do you? You know, I don't just think of me. There's so many people talking to me. Of course, I can understand what everybody's going through because I've been there. Just because I'm not there now doesn't mean I don't understand. See, that's the problem with a lot of us. We don't understand the concept of growth. People grow. They don't stay in the same spot, and you shouldn't. If you're still here and you've been right here for the last 25 years, something is wrong. Either you went up a little increment and shit done changed, you went down some, your ass shouldn't be the same place for 25 years. That's not good. You shouldn't have the same damn friends that you had ever since you was little. You can have a couple, but not all the same damn friends. That means there's no growth nowhere. Fam, you know, this is why I look at this situation the way I do. This is why I talk the way I do. This is why I say the shit I do. You know, when I say I miss the good old days, bruh, you don't know what people grew up. You don't know what people done went through. But see, everybody assumes because you see where they at now. You didn't see all the hard work and dedication motherfuckers put in working three jobs and not sleeping and shit. Nobody ever sees that, but people see the stuff, oh, see, but see, uh-huh, you don't know what it's like. Of course I know what it's like. Do you know what it's like? 
See, there's so many people complaining but not doing shit about it. I got a friend out there who ain't got no kids with him. It's just him. I was like, man, they got an under table job over there where you can work and they not take taxes at your check. I said, maybe, you know, they just pay you cash. I said, go over there and work. You can work there at night. Oh, man, I don't want to work a night job, man. I just want to work the job I'm working and going home. You content with not having shit. You complaining about money every day, but you content. All you want to do is complain. And there are people out there that just complain. See, that's the problem. There's too many fucking complainers and not enough of doers. Man, I see people working three and four jobs to build that life. Shit, sometimes you have to. Ain't nobody giving you a damn thing. Nobody never gave me nothing. I had to go get it my damn self. I had to make it work. I had to make it make sense. Man, like I said, I put myself through college. I put myself through uh, every damn thing I had to. Shit. Man, please. People make it seem like you don't know struggle, don't know pain, don't know a damn thing. They just think you're supposed to sit there and just be upset behind, you know, just crying and shit. No. Yeah, some will cry when shit is bad. Anybody should cry when shit is bad. That's what life is about. You can pout. You do understand what's going on. You know, just because I'm in a season of winning, you know, sometimes don't mean that I don't understand. Shit is going on. You never know nobody's situation. You know, people make it seem like in order to understand people, you got to be destitute. Fuck out of here. That don't make no damn sense. Hell, Bill Gates could relate to us right now. He wasn't always rich. Shit, he know what it's like. I think a lot of people think people lost touch with where the hell they came from. I ain't lose touch. I ran the fuck away from where I came from. I'm not trying to remember that shit. Look. We all had hard lives. You ain't trying to remember every step. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it real. I'm trying to be real. Man, I ain't trying to be a damn thing. I'm trying to be me. And see, this is the problem, man. It's just so many people trying to tear you down. I block more motherfuckers today. I'm like, damn. You know, like, you just, you know, you over there complaining. And I'm going through shit. Like, and I'm just going through it. Man, did you go to work? Man, I called off three damn days. I ain't going to work, man. But you don't know what I'm going. And I'm like, man, f what the fuck you going through? It's just you. I'm like, work through the shit. Man, we all done had crisis. People done had midlife crisis, nervous breakdowns, and still had to catty ass to work. Shit is what it is. That's what make us stronger. Sometimes you got to cry. Once you finish crying, you dust yourself up and get up and just work it even harder. You got to grind and shine. Diamonds just are not naturally sparkly. Shit, you got to make that motherfucker shine. You got to put effort into it. You got to put work into it. Why do you think so many people out here working two and three jobs? You see these influencers out here, they out here. Just to be honest, they're pushing their shit everywhere. You see doctors and lawyers, they're pushing their shit everywhere too. You see ads, you see all of this. You know, doctor got a private practice. You see ads for his private practice. You see commercials for it. You see him sitting in a chair, you know, talking to clients on a commercial. Man, look, that's how it is. In order to have something, you got to know what it's like to not have nothing. Because it makes you want something when you don't have nothing. You know, you look to others to see what the hell they got to see what do you want. You know... That's the thing that I was trying to, you know, convey to a lot of people. I think we all mix it up sometimes and think people don't know where the hell you're coming from or, you know, people out of tune, you know, with reality. You know, they don't know what's going on out here. People know what's going on out here. Shit. People are out here. You know, like I said, it's just like people just don't get it. You know, people are so used to tearing other people down in order to build themselves up, in order to make it make sense, like you just don't relate. you like, I'm not rich. Shit, I work jobs. And, it, you know, if you can't afford it with one job, shit, you work another. And, hell, if that job ain't enough, sometimes you just got to back off the hobby. But, hell, I collected over a period of time. That's still back there. Man, please, you're going to go through some stuff. You're going to understand some stuff. And all the lessons that you got to learn... 
It's up to you to learn them. Shit, that's why they call trials and tribulations. They're yours to learn. When people help you, that's when they go through some shit because they don't supposed to help you. They are your trials and tribulations. This is your chance to, you know, understand what it is that make you you. They give you that beast mode when you need it. You know, you got to be a different animal and the same animal at the same damn time. I know that don't make sense. That's Kobe Bryant right there. That shit didn't make sense. But, you know, when I heard him say it, I said, I understood that. Shit, it don't make sense, but I understand it. You know, people going to hate you. They don't know why they hate you, but they going to hate you. They going to hate something about you. When a light shines, a lot of people don't like the light. You know, even when I'm quiet, it's like I'm talking. I was sitting at my desk at work the other day. My boss passed by and said, what you say? Said, I said, I haven't said a word. No, you said something. I said, I haven't said a word. And it's like, no matter where I'm at, somebody always said, what did you just say? I haven't said a word. You want me to say so. Because I have the type of personality where I lift people up. I build people. I don't try to tear you down. I point out all the good things. High five, you'd be like, man, I right. nobody calling you out. Nobody saying anything negative. That's just who I am. You can't stop being who you are. And this is what I'm pushing to a lot of people. You know, people talk about you and your hobbies and, you know, they want to have a debate with you on what you have and what you got and, you know, how you're not real. Fuck, I am real. I just know how to shop and I know how to purchase the stuff that I want. You got to work to get it. If you know it costs a certain amount, you got to put some effort into it, doing some other things with some other people to get money going. You got to have multiple streams of income shit. Sometimes you got to get out there and cut grass. I'm serious. As a whole grown ass man, shit, you get out there and cut grass with your son and play like it's a father and son team shit. You get out there and do something. You know, this world is not meant for you to sit there and be a bystander in your own world looking at everybody else complaining. Now, I complain a lot, but I also point out a lot of the good. There's a lot of good. But, you know, sometimes you get bogged down because you see a lot of the bad. And a lot of people still don't see that. You know, a lot of us have seen a lot of bad. And haven't seen our fair share of good. I could understand that too. But you know. Don't. Tear down others. Bam it's just real. You know. Everybody say always say woe is me. Uh uh. I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking about all of us. Man income affects everybody. Inflation affects everybody. The economy affects everybody. It doesn't have, you know, like people that miss. It even affects the rich people. Why do you think a lot of them start laying people off? Because they're trying to keep that money in their pocket. So they start laying people off and closing facilities, closing stores, in order to keep that money the way it was before, to keep it stable. You know, it affects everybody. No matter what color you are, gender, sexuality, it don't care. It goes in your pocket just the same way. But fam, I know right now I'm just preaching because it sounds like that's what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm at church and yeah, and amen. And that's what it seemed like here. Like I'm about to get down and start preaching. Like I'm about to hold a sermon over here. You know, sometimes we need to understand, we need to get out of our own way in order to win. The reason why we losing sometimes because we are in our own way. It's hard sometimes to see the forest for the trees. And I know that don't make no sense because when I first heard it when I was younger, it didn't make no sense. You got to remove the forest to actually see the trees. <laughs> man, it's real, man, out here. And it makes you want more. It makes you want... I know so many people were just happy just to survive. I'm not that person. I'm going to get out here and do whatever I can legally to make shit work, to make shit shine, to make it happen. Man, but to later, I just want to say, as always, fam, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for all the positive energy. And thank you for joining a group over there on Facebook. 
It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Peace out, fam.